So what we have here is the NV23. It is a 10 touch, capacitive touch all in one. So you can use all your 10 fingers to manipulate your content. Like hypothetically, it <laughs> but, so this is shipping with uh, Intel technology, yeah. uh, Ivy Bridge, latest generation. It is retaining for 999 with a pretty decent configuration, one terabyte of storage, six gigabytes of, uh, sorry, take that back, 750 gigs of storage, six gigabytes of um, RAM, okay. and again, Ivy Bridge uh, CPU with integrated graphics, that is an NVIDIA graphics. Okay. Now, in addition to what we ship inside the box, we also have this application that we call HP Connected Remote that enables me to browse my music library on my uh, all-in-one. Okay. You can also view videos, pictures, and recorded TV. So let's take music, for instance. I'll pick songs. This is my whole hard drive in music. I will launch one particular application. It then, as you can see, launches Windows Media Player in the background. Okay. I can then increase the volume. Or not, because I'm not very popular around here. Pause it. Pick another song, and then it launches it. Nice. So I can stand away as far as I want from my all-in-one and still control my music, as long as I stay within my home Wi-Fi system. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, other thing, I, I know I noticed it has Beats Audio also. Yes. On all in one. So but the speakers are Beats certified. Okay. And we also have Headphone Out, which is Beats certified. So literally, we take this to the Beats Sound Studio, and they have to listen to the quality of it and say, yes, this is approved to have the Beats branding on it. Cool. I also see you have the mm -hmm. ultra slim keyboard here, right. which uh, I know a lot of companies have been moving to this, but I do like the design. It's curved. It's, yeah. it's almost like one solid piece. It is. It is actually one solid piece. Okay. And then with reinforced metal to ensure rigidity of the design. Nice. But here, in particularly in this particular all-in-one, we actually encourage you to not use the keyboard and the mouse <laughs> and just use your fingers. fingers. Yeah. Nice. And uh, how much is this retail for? So starting at nine nine nine. Nine nine in retail. Okay. For the MV23. MV23 touch mark. Yep. yep. And you, of course you have similar technology in the MV20. We do. So we have the MV20, which is the little sibling of it, yeah. 20 inch, right? Same idea. And this one starts at 799 okay. with more of an AMD configuration. Okay. And then last but not least, we have the Pavilion 20, which is our entry to all-in-ones. It is non-touch, as you can see, so, because yeah. it has a little border right. around yeah. <laughs> But you're talking $450. Okay. And that, that, is that housing AMD or Intel? AMD. 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 So, okay, so the Pavilion 20 AMD, the MV20 AMD, and this is an Intel processor. Correct. Yeah. And then we have Intel on the uh, Spectre 1. Uh, we haven't seen the Spectre 1 yet. We'll get to that in a second.